Good everybody walk through today's video. Today's video we're going to be doing some machining today. If you guys have been following this LS swap on this channel, I rebuilt the transfer case and last minute decision I decided I wasn't going to use the Dakota digital emulator I got and I want the VSS sensor between the transmission and the transfer case which opened up a pile of worms. As I talked to the guys that advance adapters and they told me to buy this, which is fine. And I needed an adapter from a 700 R4 to 231, which is fine, of course, until you go to install it. And uh, you can see right there, it doesn't fit. The older style 231s didn't have this big seal flange on there. So what I need to do is tool up my mill and machine this whole ring down and then see if it'll fit and if it doesn't fit we'll start machining a little bit more and see what happens here i am all set up i just did one cut just to see how this cast was going to machine it's pretty soft so let's machine it all the way down to here and we'll check our fit <laughs> So close, a little bit of a gap. I'm gonna find the problematic areas right there, right there, and right there. Try this again. So you can see it's been machined down quite a bit. Fits flush now. No interference fit inside there, so now we're good. So in the end I want to keep this video short because someone has probably tried to do the same thing I did and couldn't make it to work. Now, of course, if you don't have a milling machine, you can still make this happen. You would need an aluminum die grinder burr, and it would be, it'd be tricky, right? You'd have to put it in vice, take your time, start grinding it down, but with a die grinder, you can make it happen. I mean, you don't have to be perfect, no one's going to see it, but in the end... Now the part about this is, is that it'll save a little bit of money because you still have to buy one part of the kit which is cheaper but if you bought the kit to adapt to your 231J then if you're not skilled enough you're going to have to have someone tear apart the transmission to put in the output shaft and if you're going through all that work to do the output shaft well at that point you might as well get the transmission rebuilt anyways because you got to take it apart so um, this is what I did because the transmission was rebuilt when I got it and I wasn't going to get it taken apart again. But uh, we're all set up. One last hurdle. The next step, we're going to set all this up and we'll be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.